please put your hands together for Evan Allen. Also, I just want to say we share a mustache. Yeah, that's true. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thanks, sir. On today's video, it's another story from our Breaking Point Story Slam, this time from Evan Allen. My folks start calling my cell phone and tell me, Evan, you guys can't make it through the blizzard. Turn around, come back. I'm like, no, no, we're going to be fine. Hank says we're going to be fine. It's, I'm sure we're going to be fine. Hey, guys. Welcome once again to the podcast office. I'm just here being lazy. Let me just lean back and bring this microphone back a little bit. Um, just here, you know, working on some stuff in the office, and I figured I should probably, you know, do these video intro for this sh one. I don't know. You ever feel like you, you just want to lay down and take a nap? <laughs> That's how I'm feeling right now. Um, Hey, thanks for tuning in, and uh, if you want to hit that subscribe button here on YouTube and the the notification bell, leave us a rating or, or a thumbs up and a comment. Uh, you can tell I'm not enthused about having to do that every time, but apparently that's how you grow on YouTube, is you have to constantly remind people to help you grow. I don't know. YouTube used to be different. I used to be more into it when I was younger, um, and you could just put up a video of you playing an acoustic cover of Kiss the Girl from The Little Mermaid, and y you wouldn't have to promote it at all or beg for likes, and you'd suddenly have 10,000 views, and, you know, not that I've done that. She don't got a lot to say, but there's something about her. And you don't know why, but you're dying to try you. Anyway, um, today's uh, story is from Evan Allen. Uh, one last thing. Patreon.com slash Madison Story Slam if you want to help us grow. That's it. Uh, Evan Allen uh, and I share a beautiful little mustache here. And, and, and I, I guess mine's more of a full beard. Uh, but I, I've grown out this, I don't know, is this handlebar? Is this, I guess these come down. So it's more like a Fu Manchu kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not in charge of naming mustaches, uh, but uh, but uh, he tells some stories about uh, his family and his brother and grown up in Montana. I believe he says Montana, uh, and he tells us he gives us a great lesson on how to drive to Michigan, uh, sort of, you know, mostly. I guess you could say that if you wanted. Uh, he was uh, towards the end of the evening and people were uh, having a good time already and we had a great time with Evan. So once again, here's Evan Allen. Hey, everybody. Wow, those lights are super bright. Good. Okay. Um, well, let's see. I love my brother. Uh, he's a good dude. Uh, he and I, we grew up together in Montana. We grew up on a farm. Um, <laughs> he always gave me bad advice. Not always, but most of the time. There was a day that the, the tractor overheated and we were charged with uh, watching over it while my pop went back up to the, <laughs> the house to grab a pail of water to bring it back down and pour into the radiator and cool the engine down. And we were looking at the radiator and at first it was red hot and then it slowly stopped being red and it just kind of became normal color again. And my brother and I were debating whether it was probably cool enough to touch. And he told me, yeah, absolutely. It's definitely cool enough. You should put your hand right on that thing. <laughs> so I did so. And it hurt a lot. And I uh, cried a bit and ran home. And uh, my brother got in some trouble. <laughs> Not enough, in my opinion, but a little bit. Uh, we, <laughs> we ended up... Uh, Going to school together in his car, um, he had this ridiculous, I don't know, Isuzu 1988, some ridiculous vehicular that did not drive very well, and I love skateboarding. So, dear Hank was uh, <laughs> at his friend Mitch's house, we were hanging out in the driveway, and I was skateboarding back and forth on the driveway, and uh, he decided, yeah, it's time to go. So he jumped in the car and said, Evan, we're leaving, and I said, yeah, yeah, one more kickflip. I didn't land the kickflip. Uh, I didn't catch up to the car right away. He starts driving away. They open the side door and they're still driving down the road. 
I'm running as fast as I can trying to catch up, and then he hits the brakes. But I didn't hit the brakes. Uh, he was going a little bit too fast, but I don't know. I, yeah, I, just, I, cl <laughs> I slammed right into the door uh, because I was running as fast as I could to try to catch up. And I bent the door entirely backwards. <laughs> And it didn't, uh, it never fixed itself. It never opened or closed quite right after that. But thankfully, that one didn't hurt as bad as uh, putting my hand on the hot radiator of that tractor. Um, then there was one day that we decided, yep, my sister lives over in Michigan. Her two kids are uh, <laughs> in some dance routine at a halftime at a Pistons game. We said, hell yeah, we're going to drive all the way to <laughs> Michigan from Montana over the weekend gonna go great. Hank's like, Evan, we're doing this. So we take off after school on a Thursday. I had a test Friday morning. I just told the, the teacher, I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna, sorry. Sorry, professor. I, I won't be there for that. I'd love to take a makeup test some other day. And we start driving after he got off work Thursday afternoon and a blizzard hit through North Dakota. So <laughs> my folks start calling my cell phone and tell me, Evan, you guys can't make it through the blizzard. Turn around, come back. I'm like, no, no, we're going to be fine. Hank says we're going to be fine. It's, I'm sure we're going to be fine. And the snow keeps coming down and keeps coming down, and we stop at a gas station, and Hank says, all right, Evan, it's about midnight. I'm pretty tired, so you're going to take over drive, and I'm going to go to sleep, and you drive as long as you can through the night. We'll see where we get. And uh, I kept driving for about another hour, maybe two hours, Needed to fill up on the gas again. We were somewhere near Bismarck, and there's about a foot of snow on the road. And it was at that point that I told myself, nope, 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 I'm not doing this anymore. Hank, you're crazy, and we're going to turn around and go back to Montana. So I didn't wake him up, and I just filled up the truck with my mom's credit card and then turned around <laughs> and started driving back towards Montana. And when he woke up in the morning, he's like, yeah, yeah, we almost there yet? I'm like, yeah, we sure are. <laughs> So we got back to Bozeman, and I called my sister, and <laughs> she said, wait a minute, so how far did you make it? I'm like, ah, you know, Bismarck, halfway there. And so that's been a running gag in our family for a while is, uh, yeah, oh, <laughs> why don't you come on over, spend the weekend with us, and uh, hang out. And Yeah, yeah, I'll just drive halfway there, think about it, turn around, and come right on back. <laughs> so uh, that was the first time that I realized that my brother doesn't always give me the best advice. and uh, <laughs> He's a great dude, though. I love him. So thanks.